Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to take a look at the B550i from ASUS. We're going to unbox it, we're going to install it and generally take a look. Right guys, so what we're going to do now is unbox it. So we'll just have a quick look around the box and just uh, you can uh, see what you're going to expect. The packaging, to be honest, with the, um, the last couple of um, generations of motherboards has got exceptionally good, I think. It's very premium looking and to be honest, you are, you are paying a little bit more money as well. Um, for these tricks, so you kind of want it to be um, as nice as it possibly can be. So it has um, audio type C, um, there's a cable in the box which we'll have a look at. Um, it has your, your Wi Fi, which is uh, very nice there. BIOS flashback, so if you've got a Ryzen 5000 series, you haven't got an up updated BIOS, you can, uh, you can do it via USB and it's all, all very straightforward. You can go on the ASUS website and uh, check out how to do that. And then it's got your 3.2 um, USB. So yeah, so it's, it's very nice above board. We're going to get it out and just uh, see what you get. Right, so the first, so the first thing is above board. We'll, we'll put it to one side just for now, and we'll uh, take a look in a moment. Okay, so we have like an RGB cable there. We have our IO shield, it's very nice. A lot of motherboards nowadays, mostly I suppose ATX have uh, them pre-installed. We've got plenty of SATA cables, which is really good. That's the, the USB Type-C audio cable, which I just spoke about. Got some cable ties, which are always handy. And then we've got the shark's fin antennae. I prefer the individual ones, you know, the little kind of like four inch ones, which you screw on. But yeah, these are all right. And then we've got the front panel cable here. This kind of goes onto the motherboard and then you um, attach the individual cables to the, to the rear of it. It makes it a lot easier because it is very fiddly um, if you've worked with a mini ITX motherboard before. Um, and then, yeah, we've got some screws for your M2s and I think there's a bracket for a fan of some sort. I, I'm not too sure to be honest, I've, I've never actually used it. And then we've got the, the manual, which is uh, fantastic. And we have a DVD for the drivers, um, but I don't know of many people that have DVD drives, but yeah, it's all handy. And obviously your installation guides, if you should need them. And then the, the best bit is some stickers, yeah. Right, so let's pack all this away and we'll have a look at the motherboard. So it's a lovely looking motherboard. I've had the B450, the X470, the X370, um, and this is just like easily the best looking board. It's very nice. Um, obviously you've got your little fan under there, uh, which keeps your uh, VRMs a bit cooler because I think they've got a few firmware issues on the third gen. We've got a little bit down here for your M2 or your NVMe, a couple of slots for your RAM. I've got um, a 32 gigabyte kit for there. I've got three headers there, which is fantastic because usually you do struggle to be honest with fan headers, but we've got three there. And we've got yeah, four SATA cables, you've got your USB 3, your Type C, which is really nice to see. Um, yeah, so it's just a really nice board, I think. Lovely. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut away to some video of me installing it. Um, so installing the CPU, the RAM, and the NVMe. Um, and then we're going to stick it into the case um, that I'm doing. So um, let's do it.
guys. So that's the Asus B550i Gamer Motherboard. You know, it's a fantastic um, addition to their lineup. You know, they always do a good job in my opinion. Now, I don't think I've got anything bad to say about it. Mm, nope, I haven't got anything bad to say about it, to be honest. Um, it's got PCIe 4. It's gonna support the next generation of Ryzen processors. Go buy it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.